Blabber 947. You've got to live long enough to learn how to live. Um, it's a um, it's a line from a Cause song, the band the Cause, the Irish band the Cause. I can't remember which song, one of their albums. But um, over the years, I suppose, because it's been years now since I've heard that song, I've I've thought of that that line a number of times, and um, I think some people. As the doors thing into this life were thrown, into this room were thrown, sort of things with um, uh, riders on the storm, you know, into this world were thrown. Sort of, we're thrown into this world from birth, and here we are. And, you know, some people, it seems to me, soon enough, it's like they've hit the ground running. To me, it seems like that. I don't know. Some people who, who, who are successful might say they have no real idea. I don't really know. But it's, to my observations, I think some people work out this thing called life pretty damn quickly. They know exactly what they're about. Oof, off they go. But for, for, for some of the rest of us, it's like, you know, what do I do? The hell do I do with this thing called life? And um, it's like my brother Greg. You know, he's changed his job a few times in life. And he had an idea when he was growing up a bit, but he's never really settled in anything terribly long. He's worked, and he's been faithful enough with his job, but he's never really worked out anything particularly greatly very much. He's never had an over-desiring passion that I'm aware of terribly much. He's got his things which he does in life. Everyone does. But me personally... Using me as an example, I, I never really found much apart from an, an idea of the truth, that the truth was important, the factual information was important, and I applied that to my religious thinking a lot. It's sort of, I was a Christian for a while, what you'd call a born again. And um, the John 14, 6 line, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me in the Gospel of John. Uh, that That got me for a bit. I'm not a Christian anymore, as people might know, who review my videos. I'm a Noahide. So it didn't exactly last, but that was my thing a bit, the, the truth. you know. And um, that that was a bit of a thing which I found in life, which was important to me. Hopefully I found it in Torah. But apart from that, that core idea a bit, I, I've never really worked out that much what I'm supposed to do with it all. Out there in that world with nearly 8 billion souls or thereabouts, there's plenty of things to do. There's plenty of occupations, there's plenty of clubs, plenty of pastimes, plenty of hobbies. There's a lot going on on planet Earth. There's, there's heaps going on on planet Earth. But I think for a lot of us, it's only by the time that we've normally, as it were, completed our innings and called it a day and off to the heavenlies, if we're lucky, I guess, that we might have worked out much of, much of all of what, what it's all about and what we're about as a person. You've got to live long enough to learn how to live. I sort of think, especially in what this video is mainly about in this subject title, is the talents and what we're good at, I suppose, and what, what our possibly calling in life is or what we're supposed to do with it all. Only by the time we've finished it all and can look back and review it, well, what did I get right and what did I get wrong? What was any good for me? I think when you've lived long enough and you've, you've looked back at it all, you will normally know there's some things that you can do and can do possibly well. Along the way, you might have no real idea a rider on the storm, not really knowing which way the wind is blowing and have no idea what you're really supposed to be doing or if you even really care that much. A lot of us are very lackadaisical, aren't we? So I think there's a truth in that, what the cause thing there. Until we've lived a life, we don't really know how to live a life. 